Zips Basketball with John Gross, presented by Wentz Financial Group, is brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Basketball. By your Akron Canton Bryan Heating and Cooling Dealers, the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna, and Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another week of University of Akron basketball with head coach John Gross, brought to you as always by the Wentz Financial Group. Well, whenever you beat your arch rival, it's a great week, and that's exactly what happened Friday night as the Zips knock off Kent State 67 to 65. But, coach, going back to the game against Buffalo earlier in the week, we were talking. I thought you played better against Buffalo in a tough environment than you did against Kent State. I would agree with that, Joe. I thought uh, this week collectively between the two games is the best we've played. We've continued to get better each week. But when you look at the two games, no question. I, I thought aside from the first half, 13 turnovers yeah. at Buffalo, the other areas of the game, we were much sharper than even we yeah. were in the Kent game game. Uh, and then obviously shored up those turnover issues with only four in the second half at Buffalo. So I, I thought we had a really good week. We've continued to get better. Guys have worked very hard. We're more connected now, certainly, than we ever ever have been at this point. You know, one of the best things a basketball team can do is go into an environment like you were at Buffalo, their senior night, big crowd, everybody psyched up and beat them. That's got to be a lot of fun. You almost did that Tuesday night. Yeah, we were right there, three-point game with a minute, yeah. minute and a half to go. Thought the kids really battled they did. and played well. And then uh, had good practices when we got back and played fairly well against Kent. And uh, just a great environment at the JAR uh, Friday right. night. So it was a terrific environment. Great rivalry game. You know, someone asked me, what uh, What are your thoughts now having coached in it twice yeah. now? I mean, I, I think it's just it's fantastic. Great for the community. Uh, just a real battle. I got great respect for Rob and how hard his kids played in the two games. And, just a great environment at both places and a lot of fun to be a part of it. You know, the best thing a coach can do is have their team playing their absolute best basketball in March. And I think you're doing that right now. We are doing that. Uh, it's been a buildup uh, over yeah. the last three to four weeks. And, uh, you know, you're always trying to find that magic switch yeah. to flip, uh, Joe, on a daily basis. And, you know, give our guys credit. I mean, they've uh, really bought in. Uh, to the areas that we've talked about and worn out consistently, coachability, attitude, effort, toughness. And uh, we're playing with a lot of those uh, intangible areas on a much more consistent basis now than we were earlier in the year. Well, right now, let's go back up to Buffalo this past Tuesday night. at senior night for Buffalo. They're getting ready to cut down the nets, and the Zips almost put a hurting on them up there. Right now, let's take a look at the highlights brought to you by Suma Health Systems. And we got off to a great start in this one, Joe, really offensively and defensively. Thought we were really locked in. Uh, Dan was great. I thought Mondo, his effort throughout the course of the game at both ends of the floor this week uh, was at an all-time high. Best I've seen from a consistency standpoint. Thought that was great for him and great for our team. Uh, there you see Cotton. He made plays certainly in both games uh, over the week. Uh, I thought Utomi was really consistent in both games. Uh, DeVivier's playing like a senior should this time of year. He realizes that hourglass is sifting and making yeah. plays for us. And, you know, I, I really think the biggest difference in our team, and Frenchie said it yesterday uh, on the pregame, was our de is our defense. Yes. Much different than when we started. You led 38-32 at the half and took it right down to the final two or three minutes. Malcolm DeVivier uh, fouls out on a tough call, and, boy, that was tough down the stretch. Could have used him. No question about it. I thought it was a big play. Uh, there were a couple of them like that in the last two minutes that I thought, you know, when uh, you're in a, in a situation like that with two minutes to go, you don't need everything to go your way, but you certainly don't need everything yeah. to go the other way against you. And, I, you know, I felt like uh, – you know, that was the case uh, certainly on, on Tuesday night. But our kids battled. I thought uh, from a mental toughness standpoint, they've really grown in that area. Their ability to deal with stuff that gets thrown at them during the game, uh, good news or bad news, I like to say. Uh, they, they're doing a much better job of that, and I think it's allowed us to play better basketball. You're getting good balance scoring right now. You had four players in double figures at Buffalo, and uh, Daniel, you told me, as you mentioned on radio the other day, starting to be one of the best players in the league. Yeah, there's no question about it, just because he impacts both ends of the floor and he does it consistently. Yeah. 
You know, and really, even when you now take away his three-point shot a little bit, his team scheme against him, yeah. you know, against Kenny, gets to the free throw line 15 times. Against Buffalo, he goes to the post. You know, he'll get you on the glass. And defensively, he's a lot more locked in and a lot better within our system than he was when he started. Yeah, people are starting to game plan against him a little bit, and he's really producing. He can take it to the basket. He hit that perimeter jump shot, hitting free throws, doing it all. No, he's a mismatch guy. Yeah, so you yeah. put a bigger guy on him, he takes you to the right. perimeter. You put a smaller guy on him, he can take you to the post and hurt you around the basket. There you go. Hey, we're going to take a break. When we come back, a special feature this week on a young man that unfortunately did not play the entire season. Young kid out of Houston, Emmanuel Ojigapoki. He's our uh, feature right after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I imagine everyone to be my mother, my father. Truly give of yourself, to give of your heart. I just treat them like I would want to be treated. To feel like they're a welcome guest of ours. Being genuine uh, by showing compassion for others. By going above and beyond. You're not just there as a provider, but there to help them on a personal level. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. Well, they call him the E-Man for good reason. He's a guy that came out of Houston and can just jump out of the gym. Our feature this week on Emmanuel Oljigapoki. My name is Emmanuel Oljigapoki. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm a Ford. Great look to Oljigapoki. I guess I was pretty nervous when they told me I had to have surgery. Uh, I wasn't really happy that my season was over. And, you know, just basic. I was kind of mad. But after, you know, I calmed down a little bit. I was optimistic about the future. You know, this surgery basically kind of saved my life. But, so I was like, I was pretty cool about it. So the first time we, we had this incident with E-Man, uh, it was the Buffalo game where he came out of the game about two minutes in and he came to me and said he started to get a little dizzy and lightheaded and he had this black spot in his vision. Um, so first thing we kind of sat him down, uh, was looking at his eye to see if there's anything in there. Uh, kind of just asking some more questions, kind of getting some more background information. The practice before the Buffalo game, I wasn't feeling pretty good. So then I played, and on the court, I couldn't see for like a minute. So then they took me out the game, and the heart doctor seen me. And we got checked out the next day, and I had to have surgery. So the technical term is a, a fibroelastoma. Um, that was on his mitral valve. So uh, basically what that is, it, it wasn't infectious, it wasn't cancerous, anything like that. Um, basically just a piece of tissue that, you know, as the heart's pumping blood, especially at high forces, uh, pieces of it can flake off and then travel throughout the body. So what we're worried about are strokes and um, just clots and, and, and things like that. You know, when, when, when E-Man first had surgery, I saw him first thing out of the bed after his surgery the next morning when the nurses got him up and got him moving. And it's hard to see a 20-year-old like that. And I was there when he took his first steps down the hallway and he maybe made it 20 feet. And I, I thought to myself, boy, this is going to be a long road. The first week out the hospital, it was kind of weird because I was walking around this stuff and getting exhausted just from walking, like walking upstairs. And I couldn't use my hands to pick myself up for like six weeks. So I had to like uh, ease my way back into that. And like around week four or five, I kind of got more normal. I started lifting. I didn't get as tired walking around. And I started like running around. And like now I'm like lifting. His, his overall progression went rapidly once we started with it. You know, we, we uh, between myself, uh, Mike, and Bill, you know, we met with the cardiac rehab specialist, and you know, he basically told us that the sky's the limit as far as what he can do. It all comes down to tolerance. Well, first in the hospital, they gave me a pillow to help me sit down and get up, but I didn't like the pillow. And Coach Gross's daughter gave me Leonard, the hippo, and I use him to sit down and get up. He kind of like helped me out. 
Personally, I just learned that you really can't take, take anything for granted, honestly, even the little things. Like using your hands, for example, because I couldn't use my hands for six weeks to like get up and sit down, so you can't take anything for granted. Coach, it had to be a scary moment for you and for E-Man. So far away, his family not here. You really became his family during that whole situation. Well, the greatest blessing of the year by far was Mike, Bill, all those guys, our doctors, uh, the heart surgeon, did such a great job of identifying it. Thank goodness we handled it properly. Yeah. As E-Man said, it's just a blessing. We're all grateful that he's still with us. So, you know, you put that in perspective with wins and losses, I mean, that's another level exactly. of... You know, so that that uh, that may be the highlight of the year, to be honest, that we are able to find out that there was an issue there and that they were able to take care of it. Everybody asked, will he be back? And I'm, I'm assuming he will be back and play. Yeah, he's working hard. And in fact, there's times where I'm like, wow, can he do that already? You yeah. know, he'll be running up top or lifting weights or you saw him doing two ball dribbling yeah. there in the feature. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. I think he's more grateful than ever and more hungry than ever uh, to come back and be a part of our team. Uh, he's a huge part of our team now. I think he's been a real inspiration to a lot of the guys, certainly our staff as well. But uh, as we move forward, we anticipate his role being a return to the court. So, you know, we're excited for him uh, that he's making such great progress. There you go. And of course, the icing on the cake, E-Man is an honor roll student. He is a very smart young man. We're going to take a break, come back and watch highlights from that big win over Kent State on Friday night right after this. At the Wentz Financial Group, listening to clients, understanding their needs, evaluating their risk tolerance, and finding solutions to help them meet their goals is our ultimate responsibility. Because at the end of the day, we treat every client like their family and manage every dollar like it's ours. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Our strength is our legacy. Boundless innovation, fueled by our tradition. At the University of Akron, our path forward is here and now. Every day, we push ourselves to do what others want. Akron raises champions. Akron nurtures genius. Because just when you think we're finished, we're just getting started. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Well, before the biggest and loudest crowd of the season, Friday night at Rhodes Arena, the Zips knock off Kent State 67-65. to And, Coach, for people out there watching that haven't played basketball, how much does a crowd like that help down the stretch? I thought it was great. I mean, I thought our student section, yeah. the AK Rowdies, uh, just our community and the support of the game, you know, I kind of challenged them because Kent had a oh, great yeah. environment sure. when we played the rivalry game round one. Yeah. And uh, we certainly matched that. Uh, yesterday in the jar and uh, I'm so thankful and I know our players are as well for the environment that was in there yesterday and the fact that our fans came out like that meant, meant a lot to us and a lot to our players and uh, created a very a raucous environment oh, yeah. that's what we were looking for and we were able to get that so we're thankful and appreciate all you fans out there that attended. It was a wild and crazy crowd and they uh, helped the Zips win it uh, by two Let's go back and watch highlights brought to you by Summa Health Systems. The Zips jump out to a early 10-2 lead. Coach, you've done that a lot this year. Yeah, I thought we were ready to play. <laughs> Guys were ready to play, and uh, we came out with uh, some energy at both ends of the floor. I thought we executed well. I thought we really battled and set a tone. Uh, then we went through a couple stretches during the game, to be quite honest, Joe, where I thought we missed shots and missed yeah. some free throws. Uh, you don't very often in a game like that not score a point for six consecutive minutes yes. and win a game. You're right. And uh, that just shows you how far we've come with not being, I call it being a front runner, a guy or a team that only plays well when their shot's going in is how I define that. Yeah. And I thought we were that way earlier in the year. And uh, yesterday, obviously, with the six-minute stretch there of not scoring, the way we defended in both halves, I thought we just were gritty and kind of grinded it out. Tied up 31-31 to 31 at the half, 20 minutes left to play, and you come out and uh, play well. You were down, I think, a couple times by five points, still came back and won it. Yeah, just battled. A lot more, more gritty uh, behavior and disposition with our group uh, than earlier in the year. I can't emphasize that enough, and I just think that makes all the difference in the world. You know, we, uh, we've talked a lot about toughness. 
And uh, at some point, you know, we were trying to flip that switch to where it wasn't just talk, Joe, it was action. And I think here lately, we've started to demonstrate mental and physical toughness at a much higher level. Ivy with a good uh, slam dunk on the baseline. It doesn't take long for young players in the Akron program to realize that the Kent State game is special. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You know, Malcolm picked on that up on that very yeah. quickly as a senior that's only been here for a short period of time. The other guys know as well. I mean, it's a tremendous game, a tremendous rivalry, and a lot of it's because of the success of the two programs in particular in the last 15 to 20 years, the battles that they've had, whether it's in the MAC tournament, you know, over at the MAC or at the JAR. So... Uh, give the players uh, from both programs a lot of credit. They're the ones who really make it go. We didn't see the final play there. 3.6 seconds left. Kent has the ball, have to go full court to make a shot. You set up a pretty good defense, though. Well, we, we, biggest thing is we didn't want to catch it on the yeah. run. And we talked about that after the game in right. the post game. And uh, we were able to accomplish that. That slowed it down a little bit. And, you know, fortunately for us, we executed a couple switches there that we needed to and, and created kind of a bobbled shot opportunity by Avery. And, and uh, we're able to, you know, eke out the win. Exactly. Congratulations to the Zips on a big, big win over Kent State 67-65. Right now it's time for Whose Stock is Rising, brought to you each week by the Wentz Financial Group. Coach, we've talked about balanced scoring, and Eric Parrish has become that third and fourth guy that can put some points on the board for you. He has, and he had a great week. Uh, biggest thing that I'm, you know, really excited about is his improvement defensively. Yeah. He's gotten so much better there. He's had the ability to get double figures in a game. Exactly. As you know, Joe, he has throughout the year at different times. But Or even rebound it well or get steals. Uh, but the system defensively, early on, he struggled with that. He's gotten a lot better, uh, and I can trust him a little bit more with things defensively. He's still not quite arrived there, but he's much, much better than when he started, and I think his teammates are starting to recognize that as well. He made a great play right in front of the Kent bench the other day, got it, uh, threw it down to Cotton. Cotton misses the shot, but that was a great uh, defensive play. He didn't get that ball. No question. He has a gift for reading and anticipating situations yeah. uh, with stealing the ball, when he, especially when he's off the ball as a defender. You know, obviously his positioning, his ability to guard screening actions is where he's really improved yeah. and become much more accountable uh, in, within our system, uh, you know, obviously helping our defense a great deal. And we've talked about this before in the show. He's a quick jumper. He gets off his feet in a hurry. He does, and he has big hands. If yeah. you notice, he likes to do a lot of things one-handed, uh, un unfortunately at times. Yeah. You know, <laughs> wanting to do catch two-handed, yeah. rebound with two hands, pass with two hands. Uh, but he does have, and usually guys that have mitts that are that big have an ability to finish yeah. when you can explode off the ground, as you're alluding right. to. And he does. He has, a, he has the ability to finish in and around the rim with either hand. Yeah, congratulations to Eric Parrish. We're going to take a break. Come announce our, our Player of the Week right after this. Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honeymead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the Pit of Misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of Misery. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Here's to the friends you can always count on. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. It takes RJ Mechanical to keep your home comfortable this winter. Find us at rjmechanical.net. Well, for the third straight week, our Player of the Week is sophomore forward Daniel Utomi out of Houston, Texas. Averaged 19 and a half points a game for you last week, Coach. And as you mentioned, we've talked a lot about him. He continues to just get better and better. He does. I've, you know, made the statement over the last three to four weeks, certainly as he's improved in a lot of areas. I mean, he's, I think he's one of the best players in our conference. And uh, just a tremendous young man to coach. I, mean, I love coaching him. You, know, you can get on him and it doesn't affect him. He has some mental and physical toughness about him that I think you know, gives him a chance to really be a special player. Great off the court, great on the court. Just really a blessing. Uh, I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to coach Dan. I know our staff feels that way. And uh, you know, obviously I think his best years are still ahead of him. 
teams have to make a decision how they're going to guard him. If you play up in him, he's quick enough to go around you. If you back off, he's going to hit the jumper on you. No question. He's, uh, he's a mismatch problem. Yeah. And uh, his game's very versatile. He can score at all three levels of the court now. Early on, at the beginning of the year, he was consumed with long-range shooting. Yeah. Certainly has a, the capability of sure. doing that. But now he's uh, added the mid-range level as well as the finished game at the rim. Uh, he, that allows him to get to the free throw line, as we saw in the Kent game 15 times. Sure. And uh, he now can post it. He can get you on the glass. He's defending now. And uh, he's, uh, like I said, he's really a complete player. We're very excited about Daniel. Congratulations to Daniel Utomi, our player of the week. Right now it's time to put one of the zips on the hot seat. Brought to you each week by Bryant Heating and Cooling. Sometimes you forget about this young man. He's a walk-on. His name is Markel McIntyre. Let's put him on the hot seat right now. Favorite milkshake flavor? Vanilla. Grape or strawberry jelly? Grape. Who is your celebrity crush? Ariana Grande. Who is the biggest trash talker on the team? Uh, Bershon. Could you make a three-point shot with a medicine ball? Yes. Do you think there should be a four-point shot circle near half court? No. Favorite sport drink flavor? Lemon Law. In your opinion, who is the GOAT? Kobe Bryant. Teammate most likely to lose to Zippy in a race? Mark. Worst dressed teammate? Bershon. Best concert you've been to? Usher. Class president or class clown? Class clown. Better place to visit, the beach or the mountains? The beach. Favorite post-game meal? Um, hibachi. Most surprising song on your iPod? Um, Taylor Swift. Send a text or make a phone call? Text. <laughs> Comment on Markel? <laughs> He's the best. I love him. He's a great kid, great teammate. Uh, you know, he played for a guy, Freddie Johnson, at Greensboro Day that I've known since I was at NC State in the, you know, mid to late 90s. And uh, I talked to him about Q right when I got the job, and he's been everything that uh, Freddie told me he, he would be. Phenomenal, great in practice, great teammate, cares yeah. about the team. And he's, and he's a brilliant guy. I mean, he's really smart. He's, yeah. he's majoring in cybersecurity. Okay. So I always tease him, Joe. I said, well, you know, all of us are going to be working for you someday, there you my go. man. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a great kid. There you go. Hey, we're going to take a break. It's tournament time. We're going to come back and talk about the potential matchups for the Zips right after this. I trust them. I trust them with my life. I, I don't know if I would be here today without all of their help and their support. <laughs> they were, they were out of this world fabulous. They treated me like I was a guest more than a patient. The caregivers really are the true rock stars, aren't they? Every patient deserves and should have the care that I'm getting it soon. I'm cancer free because of them. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life changing care. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Well, hope you're ready for a little March Madness as the Zips get ready to play in the Mid-American Conference Tournament. Unfortunately, we are taping this show on Saturday morning, and Coach, we have no idea who we're going to play. It looks like it's going to be at Miami or at Western Michigan. It will be. Uh, if Western wins in the Central Michigan game, we'll have uh, Miami at Miami. If Central wins, then we've got Western at Western, so we're going on the road regardless. And uh, as I said yesterday, you know, thoughts and prayers with Mount and Mount Pleasant exactly. at Central Michigan. Yeah. Uh, you know, shooting took place on their campus, and there's some things certainly that uh, are more important than basketball. Obviously, that's clearly one of them, and uh, we wish everyone well and, and uh, safety uh, up in that area. But, uh, yeah, we won't find out really until that game's completed uh, between those two teams. If you can get up to Cleveland, Coach, as well as your team's been playing right now on a neutral court, I think you'll take your chances up. Well, we've got to take it one game yeah. at a time. We've done that. We're playing well. There's no question yeah. that we're playing well. Yeah. you know. But in a one-game setting, we know that the other team's capable. We feel like we're capable. So we've got to go out and play well. This time of year, you're playing teams, Joe, for either the second or third time. 
familiarity breeds contempt is what yeah. I always say. So at the end of the day, players got to make plays and, and toughness will prevail. You know, so we've got to try to find a way to be the toughest team and and, uh, and obviously make some plays on Monday night regardless of who we're playing. There you go. The Zips will either be uh, down in Oxford to take on Miami or up in Kalamazoo to take on Western Michigan. And, and hopefully next week we're talking about a great tournament run by the Zips. Coach, congratulations again on that big win over Kent State. Thanks for being there, Zip fans. We'll see you back here next week. And always remember, go Zips. Zips Basketball with John Gross, presented by Wentz Financial Group, was brought to you by Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Basketball. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime.